Cool. Hi, I'm Lynn Jamieson. Thank you for joining us on Faber TV Tutorials and Silly Farm Video Corner. If you like what you see, please check out FaberTV.com for lots more great learning. Okay, hi, here I am in Florida at Silly Farm and this is Chevelli, one of Silly Farm's workers putting all the cakes together. Um, Silly Farm is about to receive a load of these fab stencils. They are fantastic. I'd like to demonstrate just a couple of them and um, I think they're going to go out the door quite quickly. Okay, I've... Can you show me the stencils? Oh, yes. Mine are a little bit worked. They do come up nice and clean. These have been washed quite a few times but I do have my favourites. There's a lot here yet I haven't experimented with. Like we have blood. Uh, we have, um, looks like bird poop. Um, this looks spider leggy things and there's lots and lots and lots of stencils here to create some fabulous designs. Um, I have used this one on a butterfly. If I'm doing a butterfly design, I will place this on the butterfly wing and sponge down it gives a beautiful technique and just adds a bit of depth to your um, everyday designs. So what I'm going to use today is this little spotty um, design and I've dropped one on the floor so I'll just bend down and pick it up. And my other favourite is just a nice swirly one. I've quickly done a base of a cat cum butterfly cum abstract design just to show you the two different stencils. So I've loaded the sponge um, with light to dark, there's a few colours there. So I'm going to place this design here. Because it's dark here, I'm going to start light and go light to dark. Play around with it. The effect would be really good going from dark to light. Uh, that's the beauty of these stencils. The more you play around, the more you'll experience some really cool uh, colour combos. But I'm playing it safe at this stage. So I'm just placing the design over the cat and the beauty of this I can see where the edge of the cat already is so I'm deliberately going to add just dark to the top just to give it a an edge now I'll swing the sponge around and do the dark the light to dark sponging and I've just placed the stencil just anywhere just to create a nice effect. This time I'm going to go dark to light, but I'm going to put the spots over the edge of um, the butterfly or cat ear. So again, turn a bit more traumatic. Sponging the dots and then lightly tapping um, it would be best if you asked your model when you're out working to slightly, if they could push their face towards your bit, just so that you can get the colours on, but Chevelli's old hat at this. This time I've turned the colours around. You get a nice speckled effect. We go the other side to finish it off, so it's dark to light. The sponge was sitting there for a little while under the light, so it's a bit dry, so I'm really pushing into poor Chevalier's face. And lifting off half a skin. <laughs> Again, I'm swapping the colours around, swapping the sponge around so it's going dark to light. and you get some nice texture. <laughs> Just going to add black, plain black this time. Wow! Woohoo! You've got all sorts of patterns happening here. Very good. Now it's a bit higgledy-piggledy, it's gone over the edge, but it just adds 
a little bit of fun and movement to the finished design. So now I'll try and put it all together. So it is sort of a butterfly wing up the top. Bottom, I'm just going to do some white flicks up to give a nice fluffy effect. And the textures show through, it's really, really pretty. And with inter interference, when it's dry, um, I use my thumb a lot. I have to trademark different size thumbs. I will rub on my uh, dry some. Start again. Rub with the interference uh, dry on my thumb and lightly buff, and uh, it'll lift the design right out. But I haven't got it here at the moment. Right. So where the stencils come up the top, I can. Just go around the edge, trimming of the design. And I can highlight these little spots. They're just so much fun to play around with, these fab stencils. Um. Can you change it to me? Yep. Right. So it's just very quick demo, all those little spots you can see underneath. The beauty of the stencils, um, I like them because when I do spots when I'm trying to do a wildcat or cheetah fast, they don't dry quick enough where the stencils they go on nice and flat and look like they're part of the actual skin instead of looking like the paint put straight on. I'm just quickly finishing this off. Oh, she's a great model. Okay. And the design here, if I wanted to go over it again to put another level, where is the stencil going? There it is. I'm going to add some gold over the top. Just putting the design anywhere, lightly tapping the gold over the top. Beautiful. Just another little dimension. spots to make so now the stencil appears to disappear into the background And that is about it. These stencils will go very quickly. Um, I'm not sure how many they've ordered. 
And that's about it. Perfect.